Let's write the structure for 2-chloro-2-methylpropane. So we're going to write the structural formula for 2-chloro-2-methylpropane. The first thing we notice is that it ends in A-N-E. When it ends in A-N-E, we have an alkane. Since it's an alkane, it's going to be carbon atoms. They're going to be single bonded and surrounded by hydrogens. Prope, that tells us that we're going to have three carbon atoms. So we have three carbon atoms, all single bonds with hydrogens around them. Let's put a chain of three carbon atoms up. And let's number them one, two, and three. When we get to this part, the methyl here, we have the two. So on the second carbon, we'll have a methyl group. A methyl group, that's just a CH3. It's a carbon surrounded by hydrogens. So let's add our methyl group on the second carbon. And there'll be hydrogens at the ends of each of these bonds. I'm not writing those right now, though. Also on the second carbon, we have a chloro group. So we'll put a Cl here. And this is the structure for 2-chloro-2-methylpropane. If we wanted to look at this in three dimensions here, a three-dimension model of this 2-chloro-2-methylpropane, that would look like this. The blacks or the grays, those are the carbons. And then the hydrogens are white. We have this green chlorine down here. So that would be the three-dimensional structure of this 2-chloro-2-methylpropane. Note that this is the IUPAC name for this structure here. It's also known as tert-butyl chloride. This is Dr. B with the structure for 2-chloro-2-methylpropane. Thanks for watching.